All right, guys, I'm out here today with the 3D printed Sabre. We got it back, put back together, uh, put a new receiver in here. Um, we already replaced the antenna. That didn't fix my fail safe. So now we got, well, it's an old receiver, but we got a different receiver in there. Uh, tested it at my house. Everything should be pretty good. Um, so yeah, I got the FPV cycle, uh, 23 millimeter shorts on here still. Emacs 12 gram servos. I put the Vista back in here uh, because iNav does not unfortunately support the latest and greatest. So uh, we will not be able to use the O3 air unit. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this does good for us. Uh, if this flies well, hopefully iNav gets their stuff together here soon and uh, at least gets us some OSD elements so I can put the O3 air unit back in this and get some stabilized footage. But in the meantime, we're just gonna throw it unstabilized and see if we can get an auto-tune done uh, for once, because we haven't been able to yet <clears throat> really do anything, because every time we throw this thing, it fail safes, and it's bad news. So let's see if we can get us in frame here. All right, it's up there loitering. The launch was super sketchy. It oscillated super bad, um, but I think everything's mostly okay now. <sighs> so I'm gonna take back over here in three, two, actually I'm gonna wait for me to make one more turn before I take over. Just in case stuff is sketchy, I'm headed for the river, so. All right, take back over. I've got control, see if we can auto-tune. Seems like it's working okay. Looks like auto tune's doing all right. Come off the throttle a hair. It oscillates pretty bad on pitch. Not sure what that's about. It's definitely very bouncy and snappy on pitch. Yeah, pitch feels pretty wacky. Roll feels okay. All right, first flight went well. Got a little bit bigger battery in it this time and the CG a little further back. On, t on takeoff, it was it was a buck and bronco, so I think it was a little nose heavy. I hope it wasn't tail heavy and I just didn't make it worse. I don't know anything about airplanes, so I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, landing on this white body is gonna get dirty real fast. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go for another launch here. I might just try and throw it right in front of us. Um, to see. Once I turn the river, I'll take back over. I don't like taking over in sketchy spots, so I'm gonna let it take this river turn. Okay. And I will take back over. Cool. Pitch seems a little better, so I'm gonna uh, try and auto-tune a bit. It's still a little bumpy on pitch. A little bit of extra speed seems to help it. It's pretty cloudy up there. It's got some oscillations. I'm wondering if that's just the PIDs at this point, like the actual P gains, because it's.
Turn off auto tune. Man, this thing flies smooth. Another good landing. Still recording. All right, let's go get her. Uh, where did I land? I landed way over here. This is gonna stop in about a minute. Man, that's fun. It flies so good. Man, this thing flies good. Holy smokes, Oliver C, clutch. Uh, for the center of gravity, I'm basically sticking my fingernail in the this line that's sort of aft the marking. The marking's way too far forward. Um, yeah. But yeah, other than that, um, holy smokes, this plane. Everything's still solid on here. Uh, I got some bugs going along for a ride. Um, yeah, motor heat's no problem. Motors are looking freaking fine. Dude. Yes, but yeah, man, this thing's fun. This thing's fun. So uh, I think that's gonna do it for us today. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys.